All right, hello everybody. This is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play the Dungeon of Nalatha Hotep, or whatever. The Amulet of Chaos funny game. At any rate, you will note that we are here before the door to the final boss. Why are we here when we beat the game last time? Well, you might remember that I mentioned that there is a secret boss in the game that I did not fight in my rush to get to the final battle. And now I'm going to show you how to get to it, and God willing, next time I will show you how to fight it and beat it. I've already tried playing through it, and it is, as I have been informed, the most difficult fight in the game. No fooling. But you are supposed to get a great reward, and probably an achievement, for beating it. So, I've come back here, because naturally you cannot go and do this near impossible quest until the near end of the game. So, you might also recall that when we were running around on the third floor, From the map. looking at everything, that we retrieved a key from this lab here, but never got around to investigating this locked door over here in Zangdar's bedroom or exploring the area behind the locked door, or the locked grate, that we are about to run past. Yeah, right there. Again, because I was in such a rush to get to the final boss and show off the end of the game. Well, that key does indeed go to this door. Uh, checking for traps, that's for sure. Okay, there's a riddle on this wall. Should we try to solve it or keep going? Why not? Let's do it. I'm very light, but no warrior can wear me. Yet, I can lift even the heaviest dragon. Who am I? Let's see. Elfic armor, a feather, a chicken, the air. Pretty easy riddle. It is, of course, the air. It's probably the air. Dragons can glide on it. Thanks for the insight, dumbass. And slight change of perspective to make this a little easier to get to. And we find another one of these statues and some loot. I'm not sure we should. It's not ours. And it contains 666 gold coins and a book called the Demonomicon. An esoteric, nefarious book that should never be opened, but as you're well aware of by now, adventurers never listen to those warnings. All right. Now, we've been running into these little demon statues all through the game, and I've concluded that there must be some secret behind them. I was right, I just never bothered to go looking for this at this point in the game, thinking, eh, I can always come back and cover it later, which I'm doing now. So we go ahead and read the Demonomicon, and it contains some seemingly useless text. His gaze is filled with fire, his disciples hoping to finally free him one baleful day have disseminated nine effigies of him in his prison. Those which will never say the light of day, or never say the light of day, will still face the rising sun in desperation. The highest of them watches all the southern skies, while her earthbound sister watches the arrival of the unknowing. The one nearest to him curses at deafening rituals, whilst another shuns mortals who burn their gold away. The anti-penultimate stares at the eastern wastes of ice, whilst the next one favors the setting sun. Finally, the last one troubles the slumbering of the dungeon master, cursing him for eternity. Well, you go through this line by line, you'll note that it has a lot of references to directions and facing away or facing toward. Like, for instance, those which 
that will never say, that should be never see the light of day, still face the rising sun in desperation. So we find the statues on the floors underground. We face them east, which is direction of the rising sun. Presumably in this reality, the sun comes up in the east and sets in the west like on our world. Uh, the highest of them watches the southern skies. Top floor faces south. Earthbound sister watches the arrival of the unknowing. That would seem to indicate that it faces the direction of the entrance, because, you know, this whole dungeon is meant to lure in the unwary. The one nearest to him curses at the deafening rituals. Well, the demon's up on the fifth floor, and that was where they had the heavy metal concert, so probably facing toward those to curse them. Another shuns the mortals who burn their gold away. That could be a reference to the casino or the inn. Antipenultimate. Obscure word, meaning the next to the next to the last, which would probably be the fourth floor, since that's not quite six, five, four. Well, we'll figure it out. And finally, the last one troubles the slumber of the dungeon master, cursing him eternally. That one, at least, is easy enough and easily taken care of here. Since from here, the Game Master's bedroom is so let's update the map. from the west, and we now have the statue facing the west. So, you know, you just have to run around to all of the other exits. First floor, I think it was in that little room right there off the crypt. Oh, what a pretty drawing! What is it? Ah, whoops, I ran down the wrong tunnel. You'd think I'd remember the way by now, but. Honestly, the whole dungeon is starting to blur together as long as I've been playing this. Yeah, I'm going to take Wizardus to take the lead because I swear she seems to not run into stuff as much as the Ranger does. So we face that one to the south, which would be the direction where you the should always note your escape routes on a map. The entrance to the adventurer's door is. Now thankfully this does put us right next to the basement stairs. One guy is still throwing up. Now this one we have in place already, miraculously, because we are on the first basement level, which means the ones that never see the sun face toward it, so it's facing east.
we just need to go down a level. This will all be worth it once we get the pathway to the demon open, trust me. At the very least, you'll probably get to watch me die in a very amusing fashion, and won't that be fun? For you, not for me. Okay, so that covers the bottom four floors. Actually, wait, it doesn't cover the second floor. Luckily, we can use the elevator to get to everything else at this point. circles All right now this one second floor it was in the garden area up here if I remember correctly go and let's see this one was going to be facing west uh, based on my quickie notes but yeah, yeah, just uh, right never shuns the mortals who burn their gold away so they'd be facing away from the tavern Some covers are destructible. I don't think we've gotten that tip before. Or if we have, I don't remember it. It was kind of a no-duh. So, let's update the map. Okay, at 4 floor, it's this one right here in the middle. So we will go past the skating rink. Okay, now this one, it's facing east. I feel like we're going in circles.
because it made a reference to the anti-penultimate stares at the eastern wastes of ice. Well, the next one favors the setting sun, so the next one would be, well, the only one left at this point. The one nearest to him is going to be fifth floor. And then that just leaves the one on the roof. But since it doesn't really matter which order we click these, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the roof now. And then we'll work our way down so we don't have to run back to the fifth floor after getting the last one. This one here is located in this little room we didn't go to before. And uh, incidentally, this opens up that treasure chest we never got to, but. Oh, what a pretty drawing! What is it? Yep, the highest of them all watches the southern skies. So we turn her to face south. And this happily gives us a chance to check out that chest on the way out. Not that there will be anything particularly useful to us in it. Yeah, there's a battle harness, Glarg's awesome crossbow, and Twilight Guard armbands. Armbands of an ancient company of Frontier Ranger disbanded after the collapse of the wall they were keeping. They're a steel, two for the price of a pair. Uh, Glarg's awesome crossbow, very effective weapon as it was designed to stave off barbarian invasions. And speaking of barbarian invaders, this bell harness is a fine example of the cardiac barbarian's fashion carved from the guts and bones of Veolifons. Is there anything better in life? But we'll go ahead and take it because loot is loot. Now, the sixth floor one is the most inconvenient to reach. It's way, way up in the northwest corner of the prison. away in this little corner and it's meant to face west you should always note your escape routes on a map yeah the instrument ultimate stairs at the eastern waste while the next one that'd be sixth floor by process of elimination favors the setting sun facing west finally the last one and yeah, we did that the one nearest to him curses at the deafening rituals. So we'll just make our way down to the fifth floor. Thankfully we have a staircase we can just take down there directly now. And make our way to the smallest room in the dungeon. Well, actually, in this case, it is a slightly smaller room next to the privies. I feel like we're going in circles. Which is what we normally mean when we say the smallest room in the dungeon.
There you go. I knew it. There are no accidents. And yeah, not that we need the XP at this point, but it's there and it's nice. So anyway, now that we have the demon orb, we have the ability to confront the demon once again on his own turf. Which, as I said, is going to be an incredibly difficult battle. And yet, victory conditions defeat the Gorbarg. Because uh, he is going to have a ton of reinforcements start showing up very quickly. And it's going to be very important to keep the attack focused on him. And I'm going to go ahead and keep everybody in a tight formation to start. Not that it'll matter for reasons that will become apparent next time. Yeah, I know, chapter's a little shorter than usual, but you've bared with me through the long ones, and uh, this one's probably going to be a long one, so... We're going to go ahead and start fresh next time and move on to glorious victory or utter humiliation. There will be no middle ground. So thanks for watching me run around for a chapter, but now you know how to find all this on your own. And as you can see, it takes you about 20 minutes to do it, just even if you know where everything is. So uh, Think about how lucky you are that I actually decided to do it first and not film it, because otherwise would have had a two-hour long chapter of me running around double-checking everything and making sure I knew what the conditions were. Anyway, thanks for watching once again, and next time, Epic Glorious Combat, or Epic Fail Combat. See you then.